understanding my version of PTSD was the catalyst for me really understanding my mental health and understanding um, how important it is to me. We just had a really good year of football. We were a really crappy footy, <laughs> footy side for years. We had a great group of guys. Um, and a lot had gone from being pretty average footballers to, to everything clicking and we had a really great season. Ended up winning the grand final. All year we'd been planning this trip away. We flew to Bali, had a meal, and then uh, wrapped that up and walked over to the Sari Club where obviously a guy with a bomb on his back in Paddy's bar um, let, off his, let off his backpack bomb and scared everyone out in the street where the the Surrey Club van bomb was meant to take everyone out. <coughs> so anyway, we went over as a group of 20 and <coughs> seven of the boys were killed there. Um, took a long time for it to sink in, like what had happened. I remember being probably about 30 or 40 metres out the front, looking back at the Surrey Club, just thinking, what, what the hell has gone on here? And where are the boys? Um, 20 went, went over, um, we were missing eight at the time. Um, Phil, we knew Phil had gone to a hospital but we couldn't find him. So part of our mission was to sort of split up when we get to hospitals and some guys would go and check the morgue and some guys would go and go looking through the hospital bed by bed to, to try and find Phil or all the other guys. You'd be talking to the families of some of the guys <coughs> And I just kept thinking, you could not let, um, you couldn't let them come over and do what we were there to do. Um, which I think there was a pride element in that. You know, we went away as a group of guys and, and we wanted to come back with what we could. First coming home, uh, sort of the survivor's guilt was very much there. Um, I really struggled with trying to understand why and how I survived and, and a lot of the other guys didn't. My mate across the table, why did he die? Why didn't I? And yeah, so um, I did get professional help. Um, we were lucky enough to have uh, a good support network put in place so that if you chose to accept it, it was there and ready to go. Um, a lot of the guys didn't um, take, take the opportunity. And, and to be fair, we were really lucky to have each other but that's not professional help, you know? You're not getting asked the questions that you need to be being asked. Um, and you're not being guided with conversation and, and the likes that, that professional help can give. I'm so glad that a younger me just committed to that process um, because I, 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 just, I just wouldn't be the same person I am now without that, without that help and support. Get help if you need it. Don't feel embarrassed to uh, to, to call a hotline or ask a friend. Um, I like to put myself on the other side of the coin and think, if my mate was hurting, wouldn't I want to be the first to be there for him? Why live in a world where you could be happier? Give yourself every opportunity to feel good every day you wake up. <clears throat>